Hello, dreamers, doers, believers, and achievers, wonderful winners, and powerful people. How are you? I'm Dwayne Chig, and I'm welcoming you to Talking Books. This is a place for people who like books. If you like reading them or writing them, this is the place for you. We're going to talk to a, a powerful author. Uh, today, and we're going to talk to him about his latest book, and so I trust that uh, you are ready. We're going to be here to get some information, and we're going to be here to get some information about his book and how you can get a copy of this book if you like drama, if you like novels, if you like suspense. This is the book you need to get. And my guest today is Mr. Lawrence Darrington, the author of The Karma Club. How are you, my brother? Brother, I am doing great. I'm doing excellent. First of all, I'd like to thank you and I appreciate you and for having me on your show, man. It's a blessing. No, man, I appreciate you for uh, making me look like I know what I'm doing. And so now that the people know I'm connected to you, they'll think I'm somebody now. <laughs> so, what uh, they say, do you make it? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we appreciate, appreciate it. Now, your book, your book is called The Karma Club. Tell us about your book. First, introduce yourself. I'm sorry. Introduce yourself. First of all, my name is Lawrence Darrington. I'm Arthur of the Karma Club. You know, and I really appreciate it, you know, if you give me the opportunity. Because if we don't support each other, who will? You will not put this book down. I guarantee it. Just give me the opportunity to show you, you know, something different, man. You know, and I wrote this book. This book come from a dream I had. Wow. It's a crazy dream one night. And uh, I woke up and, you know who I was with at that time, I asked them a certain question and they kind of looked at me crazy and they was like, hmm. <laughs> but, you know, so to make a long story short, I cultivated a whole story around this dream I had, you know, okay. and about a young woman who go through a very traumatic time in her life when she was about 17 years old. Mm -hmm. she so she buried in the subconscious, excelled in school, ended up being one of the first black neurosurgeons at hospital. Okay. 20 years later, she ran into this guy. Every time she seen him, she felt sick, uncomfortable, uneasy. She just felt sick to her stomach. She just didn't know why. But one night after a couple of different friends, she had this burning feeling in her gut. She went through her yearbooks and she found him. He changed his name. He was a guy. Wow. A nervous breakdown. And I won't spoil it for you, but she ended up right. getting that in ways you could never imagine. <laughs> so, so her friends got together and um, it was all over the internet. And they... This was the way the birth of the Karma Club because these women got together and they did what they do. Why? Because there's no timeline for monsters and what goes around comes around. Uh, so it's a novel, or uh, would you call it a suspense novel or a horror novel or what? I think it would be more of a suspense drama, okay. all the above. Okay. It's, just let you know that reality can come to the forefront because a lot of people go through things that you'll never imagine mm. and they so deep that you would never believe and certain things trigger these things to come out and this is just one of those situations that came to life okay so now when the reader reads the book what will they get from it what do you want the reader to take away i want the reader to take away real life experience and I say that because I remember a particular time when I was getting ready to get my book published. A friend of mine introduced me to somebody who ended up being a pastor who had a publishing company. And uh, he wanted to know about my book. I, I pitched it to him. He looked at me and said, this sounds pretty interesting. He read it. He said, I like your book. I really like your book. I want to help you publish your book. I said, thank you. Appreciate it. He said, but you have to change it around a little bit because there's no redemption in the book. I said, redemption? What do you mean? Redemption. I know what redemption means, but you can't right. tell them how to get through something. And the first, right. to me, the first thing that comes to mind is after going through a traumatic situation is not put it in God's hands. But hey, that just goes to show you that everybody think different. But right. You have to check what a person go through. And you have to right. let that person dictate when they're ready to give it up and put it in God's hands. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because it has to be their decision. If you just joined us, we're, you're watching the Talking Books, the place for people who like books, writers or readers. And we're talking to Mr. Lawrence Darrington, the author of The Karma Club. Now, that based on what the book is about, that title is pretty obvious. So let me ask you a question. What was the uh, you told me that it came 
from a dream, but what was the motivation for writing it and having it published and putting it out for the public? What 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 is your why? What was the motivation from that for that? My why was like I said, different people go through different traumatic situations. You never know, mm-hmm. and I felt like so many people got a, a story to tell. But a lot of people don't want to tell the story. So okay. I, I told a story. No one, I interviewed no one in this book. This is just something that came up out of me. Okay. So I have a story. So I feel like this, you might can be able to relate to this story. Because I had a young woman who told me she read my book over five times. It became somewhat of a fantasy for her. Because she, if she had the opportunity to do what these men did to her, she would take it. Okay. So what kind of response are you getting uh, from, from people? I have so many good responses and it's crazy, but I already knew because I believe in the journey. You uh, in everything you do in life, you think positive right. all around. And you know, it's gonna come, it's gonna come to the forefront. Believe that. Right, right. You know, for uh if we can digress for one second, um People, you know, there are a lot of people that want to write books, the people are writing books, the journey. What was the journey like from inspiration to publication? What was that journey like? It wasn't a walk in the park. And the average average person usually give up because they don't know how to do certain things. Right. Because you don't know how is not a good enough, sufficient reason to quit or give up or put it on the back burner. Right. If you put your right foot forward, and keep heading forward, the left foot is gonna follow. And what I met people, people would feel like this, people was put in my life for certain reasons. And mm-hmm. I remember particularly, I'm gonna give you some game. When I got ready to get my book edited, I talked to a couple editors and they was they had these real high Atlantic prices and I'm like, wow. So I met this lady, she had about 14 books out and she said, you don't have to do that. I said, I don't, she said, no, this is what you do. You go up to the community college, you, went, you go talk to one of the teachers that's um, Enix led and yeah. he's, he's gonna ask him to introduce you to two of his best students. And, wow. I, did that. and I had two of his best students edit my book for a hundred dollars wow. piece. Wow. That's wow. a big difference between two hundred dollars and twenty five hundred. Right. Game. Right. You remember that? It's oh. all around. <laughs> never let nobody tell you what you can't do, where you right. can't go, what you can't have, or who you can't be. Right. Now that what you just said, that is so powerful. Let me ask you a question. Ha, um, before you wrote this, you know, did you grow up thinking about I want to be an author, or uh, did you know any other authors before you know before this? Or did you was it something that you've always wanted to do or it just it just happened? That's a whole nother story. But I I'll, <laughs> I'll give it to you in a nutshell. Right. I, I went to prison at a young age. I went okay. to prison not even knowing. Just say I was reading at a fifth grade level when I went to prison. Okay. So what I did was I noticed everybody was getting mail. And I know to get mail, you gotta be able to write letters. Right. So I concentrated on learning how to read. In prison. Wow. GED in prison. Took some college course in prison. I started writing short stories that turned into novels. And that's that's it in a nutshell, you know? Wow. We all have a story to tell. That was mine. So the publication of this book, getting this book done, what does it mean to you? I mean, it's just, okay, I got a book done. What does it mean to you? I had people in my corner, because I always tell everybody, I had a book, I have a good book, I got a real good book. They're like, what you gonna do with it? And I was kind of stopped, I didn't know what to do, but like I said, people was put in my life to help me out. I met a young lady by the name of Marina West. She pushed me to be the best I can be. I give her nothing but props, nothing but love, because I wouldn't have been able to publish a book without her because she pushed me forward and she helped me do it. And uh, with there's a will, there's a way. Oh, I like that. I like that. If you just joined us, we are talking to author Lawrence Darrington. This is the Talking Books with D- me, Dwayne Chig. This is the place for people who like books, reading them or writing them. And so this is the show where we talk to authors and find out their story. And you can find out their book. Real quick, uh, Lawrence, tell people where they can get the book. Well, you know, I'm self-published. 
So I have all the copies. So you can come on my Facebook, uh, Lawrence Darrington, or you can hit me up at thekarmaclub.com. Thekarmaclub.com. Look for this book. Or if you have IG, the Karma Club Trilogy on IG. I'm mean, going to find the title. Uh, how did you come up with that title? Was it? How did you come up with that title? Well, like I said, once the book was in motion, I just kept throwing around titles in my head, and this title kept sticking to me because what goes around comes around. Karma, you have good karma and you have bad karma. <laughs> right. and, you know what you put out there. You know, and it just right. hit me like the karma, the karma club, the karma club. What goes around comes around. Exactly. So, so who's who's the book for, uh, Lawrence? Who is the book for? Well, I feel like ninety-five percent of everybody, all the readers, usually be women. Right. So, I figure like my base are women. So I okay. kind of wrote it because women read, men don't. A man, a man, I'd rather see a movie. A woman, right. are, women are more diverse. They avid readers. They they like to. You know, a lot of people don't understand. I remember when I was younger, I used to always want to watch a movie, watch a movie, watch a movie. And then someone told me, if you read the same book that was the movie, you get so much out of it. Ah. The first book I read was Roots by Alex Haley. I put okay. myself in the character. I felt everything from it, from the pain, from the disrespect, from the love. I felt it all. And, right. and that is the true beauty of reading. So mm -hmm. your book is we right to be understood. I'm sorry. Your book is entertaining. Uh, it's it, it, there's some there's uh, ent obviously entertainment in there, and so people will enjoy the sit down. People will enjoy the time in the book. Is that correct? That's correct. I had people tell me their biggest takedown about my book was it was too good and they read it too fast. I'm like. <laughs> You know, because it's going to make you laugh. It's going to make you cry. It's going to empower you, embolden you. It's going to make you feel like a woman. Wow. Empower. That's a good word. So when you hear uh, words like that about a book, they're usually, you know, motivational books or things of that nature. But it's interesting to hear the phrase, a book that will empower you from yes. a, a drama or a suspense novel. That's interesting. Yes, because it's, it's about a young girl who grew up in poverty. Okay. And being one of the top neurosurgeons at the hospital. So even though it's a drama, it's a suspense, it's a novel, from listening to you, uh, I would say there's some there's some encouragement in there also, would you say? Of course. It's a relationship she had with her mother, the relationship okay. she had with her father, the relationship she has with her parents, with wow. her parents. Wow. The real life situation. Okay. How long did it take you to write it? Probably about a year. Okay. okay. I, I originally wrote it in prison. Okay. I wrote it in prison, got out. I gave it to my he, uncle. Said he could help me do it. I gave it to him. He lost. He lost it. Okay. So he lost it. I was like, wow. So I ended up rewriting it again. So I rewrote it again, and then uh, I had it for about six, seven years before I did anything. Okay. And, a friend of mine, you know, Melina West, kept saying, you know, you should go ahead and put your book out. Put your book out. Well, then she asked me a question. When was the last time you read it? I was like, what do I need to read it for? Said, you, you ain't read it in eight years. I said, sorry to read my books. And when I reread it, I realized everything in the book was outdated. Right. right. For example, you know, like people back then, people smoking zigzags. You know, now people smoke right. books. So, you know, that's just an example. You know, things that you do back then, we do different now. So right. I reread it. And I rewrote it. I changed some things around, and I brought it up to date. And it's an excellent book. All right, all right. So, give us the title and where we can get it one more time. Hey, my name is Lawrence Darrington. I'm author of the Karma Club. You can find my book. Go to Facebook. Look up Lawrence Darrington, or you can go to you can go to KarmaClub.com, the KarmaClub.com, and get your copy. I will appreciate your support. Remember, if we don't support each other, who will? Good, better, best. Never let it rest. Your good is better, and your better is best. You won't go wrong. Hey, pick one. Uh, I was waiting. For, I was going to ask you to do the good, better, best because I was waiting for that. Uh, so, Lawrence Darrington, 
viewers, if you like suspense, if you like novels, uh, the book will empower you. It'll even encourage you. And so you need to get your copy of The Karma Club, Lawrence Darrington. Go to his Facebook page, Lawrence Darrington, or the Karma Club. Dot com and you can, your, or you can find your IG, the Karma Club Trilogy. Karma Club tr Trilogy. So do you have some more books in line with uh you know to write? Yes, I got about another 13 books I have been working on. Sometimes I get writer's block, so I start on something else. But I got right. books, but this book is gonna be a three-part trilogy. Okay. I got the you know, beginning of the year. I was really trying to shoot a movie trailer. I had some investors, then the pandemic hit and everything went dormant. But you know, they haven't stopped my hustle, they haven't stopped my drive. Every day I'm still out here promoting it, keep pushing it. You know, a thousand copies already out the door, and we're gonna sell another cop another thousand this year. You know, hey, help one our own get to the top, man. Let's make the dream come true. Make it happen, make it happen. Lawrence Darrington on Facebook. Uh give us the other two places where they can get the book. Instagram at the Karma Club Trilogy or look up the Karma Club.com. Karma Club. If you like suspense, you like drama, you like a book that will empower you, good entertainment, you need to get a copy of this book. And so I want to thank you for being with us on Talking Books. This is the place for people who like books, if you like reading them or writing them. This is the place. If you have a book that you want to talk about, if you've written a book that you want to talk about, contact us at drshig at gmail.com, drshig at gmail.com. Get your copy of The Karma Club by Lawrence Darrington. Man, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. I appreciate you. Not a problem. Not a problem. And Lawrence is proof that the dream is doable. So you need to go get it. Stay encouraged. Be blessed. Hold on, Lawrence.